It won't take long. You don't have the time. The sound of someone screaming presents an opportunity. Do you investigate further or continue with the mission? Each choice has different consequences, and the world reacts to your decisions. What are you doing in here? You have to go. My daddy's sick and really angry and he'll hurt you. Hey, 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 it's okay. No, please go. Go before he hurts us both. Go away. Jade, I found a little girl. She's scared out of her mind. I could... I know you could, but you need to focus on the job at hand. Look, I'll find her and pick her up before sunset. We lucked out with this airdrop, and you need to get to it before the vultures pick it clean. With the little girl saved, our mission continues to find the supply crates before the sun goes down. Holy oh, shit. When the player is facing overwhelming odds, often combat is not a viable option. In those situations, it's better for the player to avoid confrontation and use their free running skills to escape and put themselves out of reach. I'm not looking for any trouble. Get the hell out of here. Fucking hell. Jade, I couldn't get to the first airdrop. Razor's men were faster. Fuck! Okay, okay. Just run to the second one. If we're lucky, those bastards weren't fast enough to get to it. <laughs> Stay away! Stay away! <laughs> Not all your enemies are infected, and some have only begun to turn.
Okay, I can see it. It's nearly sunset, so move it if you don't want to get caught. <clears throat> I'm late! Jade, I'm at the airdrop. You need to hurry. Those things are waking up, so just... just be careful. The night has fallen, and with it, the gameplay changes. The hunter has become the hunted, and the infected have transformed into something much more sinister. You must use your night sense to avoid detection and survive until the morning's first light. Biters are the majority of the slow, shambling infected that react to and eat the living. Biters are most dangerous in groups where their speed is less of a disadvantage. Some biters will wear special equipment like hazmat suits. They stick out of the crowd with gas tanks on their back, which explode if the tank is damaged by the player. 
The miner carries a sledgehammer, which it uses to smash into the ground and swing at the player. The miner's swing with the hammer is slow, and he takes a while to gather his strength to swing again, leaving him open to attack or time for the player to get away. Screamers are infected children whose screams disorient the player's vision and renders them unable to fight. Screamers will not wander out of the house, they remain inside their former houses in one spot either sitting quietly or eating a corpse. You may hear the screams outside of the building and if you wonder, at it, if you wonder in the building it would either be a little girl or a infected girl. The toad has the ability to fire green acid and if it hits you it may blind you for several seconds. The toad has also got the ability to leap roofs, unlike some infected. He is very weak and he has a resemblance what, as the boomer from Left 4 Dead. Runners are human beings that have only begun to exhibit symptoms of the Haran virus after being infected. Runners are not significantly physically stronger than riders, and are only unique in the fact they will attempt to warn uninfected humans, with warnings to the players like, stay away as an indicator of their turning. The Demolisher is one of the largest infected types. Its strength lies in its ability to break down walls, lift and toss vehicles across fair distance. When a Demolisher spots the player, it will charge them in attempt to damage the player. However, the Demolisher is quite slow and can be easily avoided prior to its charge. The Volatile is the mutated form of the Biter that only emerges during the night. If the player is successful, they can kill a Biter before it can complete its full transformation. However, this is not the case of all biters who become volatile, and the player's best option is to always run when caught. Ultraviolet lights and flares can cause harm to the volatiles similar to the Night Hunter. The UV, radi the UV radiation can cause the volatile to walk into traps or off roofs, giving the player room to breathe. The Bomber slash Exploder has a mutation what caused the bombers or fuck it, I'll just call it fucking exploder stomach to grow enormous sizes.